Okay, how exciting is this? I'm doing a pocket camp Animal Crossing video. Um, I figured it would just be like another fun video to do. I haven't played pocket camp in a long while, but I started playing it a few days ago again and wholesome it is, and how easy it is just to like turn it on and play a little bit. And I also thought that there's some really fun sounds in the game, especially walking on the snow. I really like listening to walking on the snow. Plus, Animal Crossing music is very relaxing. Um, I really enjoy listening to soundtracks of different combinations of Animal Crossing music um, playlists, I guess and like, yeah there's when people put like, rain sounds or stuff like that, so yeah, I used to do that all the time and I really have, I did enjoy it um, so I figured I would just go through kind of the daily tasks um, I'm collecting gifts got a lemon which is cool And what am I gonna do next? Let's see. Oh, yeah, because there's little gifts on the um, on the little map screen, so I gotta collect those, of course. There's like an event going on, so I'm also gonna try and pick up all the little. Um, I think they're dogs. I think they're supposed to be dog. I forget. I always call them georites. I don't know what they're actually called. But yeah, you collect them across the island and then, or across the campground, sorry, and then you can like, it's it's just part of the event, and you get like little event thingies, and you can make things, which is pretty cool. I'm not like super into like the cat and dog kind of theme, I'm, but that's not really my vibe. I will do... Fan or my RV, I guess, and my cabin and my campground, which is very exciting. I worked very hard on them. I think they're very cute. I recently gave all of my, I guess, villagers at my campground different outfits to kind of make them all match the, the, the same kind of vibe. Um, here I'm dressed up as my little detective character. I thought that was a really cute little outfit. I really like it. I think it's really adorable. And we're gonna talk to B. Is that how you pronounce it? B with an A. It's kind of quirky. I like it. Getting up those levels, which is really awesome. So you can level up your character and get uh, leaf tickets, and then of course buy all the wonderful things that you can buy with leaf tickets. I've been playing Pocket Camp for a long time, a few years. I have quite a bit of, of the content already. I used to like pay, I paid for like two months to get like the little manager thing that you can get and I forget what it's called, but it's like, I think it's like $5 Canadian a month. So I paid for that two months or three months or something like that, I don't know, like a year or two ago. And it was really cool and you get like a bunch of different stuff with it and like more leaf tickets and stuff like that. So I really enjoyed I, I was really into the game. Sometimes I would just like every morning I would open up Animal Crossing and then play it for an hour or whatever and then I'd get out of bed. Generally nowadays I just kind of scroll through Pinterest. Yeah. Um, okay, what are we gonna do next? Oh yes, yeah, so, so we gotta collect 30 fruit. It's like one of like you do there's like daily tasks and if you do them you get like a little fortune cookie with like special content in it which is pretty cool and first i'm gonna come talk to cube um to get up those levels cube was very close to leveling up but just not quite i guess i could have fed them snacks because i have so many snacks but i guess i did not think about it 
has like collect all these oranges and I just like the sounds like listen the little sounds on the snow and on the rocks and the little um when you pick it up and when you shake the trees I just think it's fun especially the snow sounds I love snow sounds a lot gotta pick up all the peaches peaches the peaches and the cherries are my favorite fruit in the entire I really love um, the, the, I don't know, I don't know why I like them the best. I think I just like the colors of the cherries and like the peaches, they look so soft, you know? Gotta collect all the little puppy dog cheetahites or whatever they're called for the event. And there we go, we harvest 30 pieces of fruit. On to the next task. Looking back, I should have done the 3,000 bells one, but at least I got some bugs, because I almost never catch bugs. Um, or, or fish. I'm not a huge fisher, and I'm not a huge catching the bug -ers. Um Oh yeah, so I had- no wait, that one, not that one. <laughs> Sorry, the next one. That one was really easy, that one was, yeah. Oh, you know what? They never had that option. I was gonna go mix my, mixed up. I thought that that one had the option to get money, and I when, when I was playing, I kept thinking about the vlog. Uh, if only I would have done that option, because I ended up getting all the money anyways. And instead I had to go around and catch all the fish, and, and I used some honey as well to make it easier, but... Because it was taking a while, and like I said, I just don't really like catching the bugs. I far prefer just shaking the trees and getting the fruit. I actually enjoy getting the fruit, but yeah, here I am running around trying to, I don't even know what I was doing. I think I just was listening to little cute little sounds that you make when you walk. And here I am. Yeah, I like collecting the fruit. Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. Shaking the little trees. The apples are really pretty too. I mean, the whole game is so pretty. I actually, I was at I was out in the town today, I was at a store, and I was trying to find some birthday presents for my little brother, and I saw Animal Crossing New Horizons Monopoly, how cool is that? But it was like $30, and I was like, hmm, who is he even going to play the Monopoly with? And also, knowing that house, they would lose all of pieces. It's so easy to lose pieces with Monopoly. And I was like, $30? I'm trying to save my money right now. So instead I bought a little stuffed animal um, that I think he'll really like. Originally I wasn't going to buy anything because I was like, I already have a few gifts. But I wanted to you know, make it extra special because one of the gifts was like on back order, I guess. Like I bought it and then it was supposed to be here I guess a week ago or something like that. Like, it was gonna be here in time. Like, the rest of his presents came, and then that, it never, um, it ended up, it's gonna be shipped. Like, it was shipped. Oh my goodness, I'm all jumbling on my words. The basic, the point of the story is, it will not arrive in time, so you'll have to receive it later. Um, but yeah, I just kind of felt like it was missing something, especially because that was one of, like, the best things in the gifts, so... I was like, okay, I'll just get like a little stuffed animal. I think that he really likes it. And I think he'll, he'll love it. I saw it and I was like, oh, it's a little cow and it's really soft and really cute. Um, oh, you know what? I'm gonna completely, or, oh my goodness, once again, jumbling my words. Before I completely forget, and I can't believe I forgot earlier is what I was gonna like trying to get across because probably should have done this earlier in the video, but it doesn't matter. Hopefully you're still attentive because I wanted to ask I wanted to add like a I wanted to have like a question of the upload a question of the day to kind of get people talking in the comments I want to hear from you and I think it's a cool way just to kind of get to know each other we passed 20 subscribers which is really insane like slowly building a community I think is really cool and I'm very excited for that so anyways Today's question of the day I wanted to ask is, what is your favorite cozy drink for the winter time? It might
might not be winter where you are, but it's very much winter where I am. It was like negative 19 today. Canada is very cold, very snowy. I did not wear socks and that was a mistake. My toes were very cold. So yeah, I figure I will comment my answer of my favorite cozy drink in the winter. Um, just in case, I don't know, I feel like slightly embarrassed if nobody comments, so I can always count on myself to comment my answer. I don't know, I just thought it'd be, uh, but still, I think it'd be really cool if people actually commented, and that's something to say, and I know that eventually I will build up a community, and we can talk, and there will be enough people to comment, but, you know, 20 subscribers isn't a lot, and my view, my videos get around, depends the video, um, normally like a high of 50, and like an average of like 10 is kind of where I fluctuate right now, and that's not a whole lot, and you know, you gotta start somewhere, I'm doing this, um, you know, a lot of it is for fun, and I'm just, I've been having so much fun making this content, and I just, I've been enjoying it so much, um, but I think it's really cool that I get the opportunity to build a little cozy gaming community where we can all kind of chit chat and, and you know, freaking you know, relax and chill out, um, and finally, this is my favorite thing in Animal Crossing Pocket Camp, I love hitting the rocks, I love trying to guess where all the cool I didn't do super well this time, I got like 3 silver, 2 gold I think, but that's still a turnout. Hello? I just love it, it's so much fun. Um, they recently made an update where there are no rubies or sapphires. Not actually recently, this was a long time ago, oh my god. They did an update basically where there's no ruby or sapphires. Because if you did get the gold and silver, it was OP. You would end up with like 30 georites. Like it was insane. I really miss it though. I, I like that they had that. But they took it out. So now it's, you know, you get around like 30 pretty much consistently. Which kind of sucks. Because I liked the fact that if you didn't get any gold or silver, you only got like 16. Which, you know, is like still something. But like, yeah, if you got all gold and silver, you'd get like that's insane. I don't I thought it was really cool. So yeah, just kinda working on that event and collecting all the pocket watches. Um, what am I doing here? Oh yeah, I think I'm helping all the people so they can get into the quarry. So then they can hit the rocks. Just like me. Listen to the little oh yeah, this is where I gotta catch all the bugs. How fun. I think I did some catching bugs before. I'm catching even more bugs. Yeah. So much catching bugs. Look at the pretty night sky. Isn't that so nice? Okay. Oh my goodness. It took me a while to catch the 30 bugs. Not even gonna lie, but now at least I have more bugs because I was running low. I was running low on the box, yeah. I think this is when I finally do some honey to get like, I think I get five in total. Four. Damn, not a lot. But hey, it's something and it definitely helped. Um, I think I'm just gonna run around a little bit. I'm trying to think, what else can I talk about? Um, my friend gifted me a computer so nice. I haven't had a computer since October, September, and yeah, they gave me their old one, and I'm just trying to figure out how to make it work. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I think it's, I mean, it's old, you know, it's been used, but I can't even run Stardew Valley, and I've been Googling it and Googling it. Nothing is helping me, so hopefully I can try to figure that out soon, and so I can get to play Stardew Valley with all my friends and I can play in co-op mode and 
I can play Minecraft again, and that's so exciting. Until I eventually buy a computer. You know, who knows what that'll be, because, oh my gosh, like getting a decent gaming computer, it is an investment. But once, like, you invest it, though, you're Gucci, you know, like, you, you're fresh, you're styling, you're writing, you don't really need to, like, you know, maybe you can, like, upgrade or something. I don't freaking, I don't know much about computers, but, you know, you're basically set for a long time. It, it really is an investment. Um, I am once again giving people all their little requests and reaping the wonderful benefits of money and love. <laughs> oh my gosh, another monarch. And I think we're so close to getting all 30 bucks. Let's see here. Yeah, I think this is the last buck we need to get. Yeah, tiger butterfly, we did it. We did the whole, the whole challenge is complete. And now, and now we get to eat the cookie, which is very exciting, the fortune cookie. Um, Bonbon's bunny cookie, I believe is what it's called. Yes, Bon Bon Bunny Cookie. And I ate a cookie earlier in the video. And I got the cutest little leafy thingy. And it had little water drops on it. It was so cute. I was literally like freaking out when I got it. I thought it was really cute. And let's see this one. You will find a seat on the bus. This one's cute. Not really my style, but really adorable. You know, always itching to get new content, new uh, furniture, and I figured I would just eat the rest of the fortune cookies. I think the sounds are really cute, and look at the little expressions. Isn't that so cute? I just think it's so cute. Plus, it's fun. It's like a little bit of gotcha. It's like a Cookie Run Kingdom gotcha, ooh, <laughs> but with the fortune cookies and furniture. My little little music, it's so cute. The na- oh yeah, that's such a cute little fortune. The neighborhood cat is warming up to you. That's really cute. And I believe three more cookies. Three more. And, ah, look how cute. Jump, 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 jump. I just think it's so cute. And look at those dark- those sunglasses reminded me. I think it'd be fun to like dress up as him in Animal Crossings or to put um, boots. He's a alligator uh, dude uh, in the game. I have him on my camp and to put him, like those sunglasses on him and then he can look like a Montgomery alligator. But yeah, this is my little RV. It's all like orangey and brown themed. Really cute. Glad my refrigerator is stocked full of me. Isn't and like listen. Oh my gosh, isn't that so nice? The like fire. The fire and the little bird. It's so cute. I'm telling you, the um sometimes the sounds are just so relaxing, especially fire sounds. I love fire sounds. And there we go, here's like a little bedroom that's green themed, very earthy, very adorable. I love all the clutter, I think it's so cute. I just, I'm upset, I mean, I'm just saying, like, I did such a good job. Now I'm trying to check out my cabin, which is also pretty cute. I think I could do a little bit more work on it, but I think it's pretty cute. Look at that. Hmm. It's like a little writing area, a little writing nook, a little bookshop, if you will. I thought it was pretty cute. Going to the second floor now. Yeah! Look at it! It's like a bedroom, earthy. It's like, below is like the bookshop, and above is like 
your apartment, your little flat. Such a cute design. It's like living the dream. If I could own a small used bookstore, I think, I think, I think I would be at my happiest. Like that just sounds like such a dream, especially used books. There's something special about used books. Oh yeah, and here's my campsite. It's all creepy and like dark academia. So some of the villagers are a little scared. But look at their outfits, aren't they so cute? I still have to give some people outfits, but for the most part they're all done. But yeah, isn't that, oh my gosh, I'm just so happy. I think it's such a cute little design. And then outside is like a creepy graveyard thingy, I don't know. I just really like Halloween. It's like kind of a Halloween. There's a little daisy and like a little creepy well. I kind of get stuck. I don't even know what I'm doing. Literally just running around getting stuck on everything. But yeah, here's a Raymond. I accidentally end up talking to him. But, you know, it's cute. He's a, he's a cute cat. I remember when everyone went crazy about Raymond. And then, in retaliation, everyone was like, Oh, I hate Raymond. Why did anyone like him? He's ugly. And it's like, oh my god. People want to be special so badly. And they will hate on anything. Oh yeah, here's Drift. Listen to his little song. Isn't this so cute? He's just playing little maracas. I thought it was so cute. I thought we should really appreciate um, the little song. Oh, and there's Gale, the alligator, the pink alligator, Gale. So cute, I made her a little angel. And there's Boots, too. I could give him a little Monty. Oh, we're at the end. Goodbye.